Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will tell you about making a floor plan from a completely blank drawing. So right now we have this drawing. We don't know the units or any other value which is set in this drawing. And we'll start with units. We'll set the proper units in this template. Then we'll add walls and then we'll add doors and windows. So we'll use blocks for adding doors and windows and then we'll add other additional blocks in the drawing and then we'll learn about adding text and other annotations then we'll add the hatches and finally we'll add dimensions to our drawing so let's get started with this first part of this tutorial so here we have this completely blank template and we'll start with the units so to set the unit simply type un on the command line and press enter now here this drawing units window will pop up here we need to select the unit type and I'll select architectural in this case also the precision should be set to 1 is to 4 you can select any other precision if you want and in this insertion scale I'll select inches now with these changes click on OK now I'll start with the rectangle and I'll click anywhere in the drawing area to start the rectangle and we need to make a rectangle with a length of 50 feet and a height of 31 feet and for that I'll type at 50 feet comma 31 feet so you can clearly see that I'm adding this fit sign right after the number or right after the values so you should ensure that these signs are added now after adding these values simply press enter there we have it the rectangle with length of 50 feet and height of 31 feet you'll find this fit sign on your keyboard and here's the key which should be selected and for selecting the inches you need to select the same key by pressing and holding the shift key now let's go to the line tool and this time I'll start with this point but I'll not click on this point instead I'll simply track it in upward direction and when I track it in upward direction you'll see this extension option on this tooltip and if you are not able to see this option, go to this object snap, click here and select this extension option. Now I'll click back here. Once again, I'll go to this point and track it upwards and enter a distance of 15 feet and press enter. Now move it in this direction, enter a distance of 12 feet, press enter and move it downwards like this. Now press enter again to repeat the line tool, click on this point and enter a distance of 6 feet, press enter. Now move it in this direction, enter a distance of 10 feet, press enter. Now join it with this point. Make sure that it is connecting this line at the intersection point and not this midpoint. So here we need to ensure that it is connected at this intersection point like this. Alright, so here we have it. Now go to the line tool again and go to this end point and join it with this one, this intersection point. Press enter again, select the next end point, join it here. Now the boundaries of this floor plan is complete. We need to add thickness to the wall. For that, I'll go to this offset tool and enter the offset distance of 10 inches. And for inches, you need to select this keyboard key and you need to select it by pressing and holding the shift key. Now press enter and click on this rectangle and click outside. Now press enter again and press enter again to repeat the offset tool. Now this time I'll select an offset distance of 6 inches and press enter. Now click on this line, offset it in upward direction, upward direction, upward direction and this one also. Here move it towards right and move it towards left move this line towards right all right now we need to add one more line over here and for that I'll once again select offset and add an offset distance of 10 fit and press enter now click on this line this one which is on the bottom and click upwards and go to offset and select an offset distance of 6 inches press enter and move it upwards all right now we need to clean this geometry a little bit and for that i'll select trim tool 
So select it and then press enter. Now carefully remove these parts of the drawing. So this area should be cleaned and here also, here also, here also. So wherever these lines are intersecting, simply clean them. Alright, the drawing is now complete. Now we'll start by adding two different blocks and we'll start with door and window. And before that we need to make the door and window. So we'll make our own door and window here. But before making those blocks, I'll go to this layer properties. Now click on this layer properties and add some layers to the drawing. So we need to add these layers because we will place different objects on different layer for easy classification. And that's the general way of making these drawings. And you should also try to put different kind of objects on different layers. So I'll click on this new layer option and I'll add a new layer door. Click on this again and type window. The same icon and type blocks. Hatches, text, dimensions, and that's it for now. So I'll add different colors also. So I'll go to this door and I'll add this magenta color to door. I'll go to window. Let's add this blue color. And let's go to blocks, add this cyan for hatches. I'll select green for text. Let's select yellow. And for dimensions, I'll select this pink color. All right, so we have added colors and these colors will be used to differentiate between different objects of the drawing. So now we can start with the door block. So go to this drop down, change it to door. And now click on this rectangle tool, click anywhere in the drawing area and type at and the length of this rectangle should be three inches and the height should be three feet and press enter. So all right, here we have it. Now make another rectangle, a small one. And this time I'll type at a length of three inches and a height of six inches and press enter. All right, so here we have it now simply move it on this end point here just like this. Now I'll go to this arc tool and select this center start end. Now click on this point that will be the center point, the start point and the end point along this x axis. Now make a copy of this small rectangle and simply move it on this end point like this. So our door block is ready. Now we only need to make a variation of this door block and for that I'll make a copy of this. So select copy tool and here we have it. So that's the original one and I'll just make another copy here and for making the next copy, I'll select this mirror tool. Select mirror, select it all and press enter. Now click on this point and click on this point and press enter. Now we need to remove these two rectangles. These rectangles are no longer needed. And here we have it. So we have these two variations of the door block. Now let's make windows. And for windows, I'll once again select rectangle. And before doing that, let's change the layer. So I'll change the layer to window. All right, now click anywhere in the drawing area. Let's type at and the length is five feet comma, the height is six inches and press enter. So as you can see that due to the dark color of this window, we are not able to see it quite properly. So I'll change the color of this window. So I'll click on this box and change it to this orange color and click on OK, close it. So there we have it. Now it's quite clearly visible. All right, now let's explore this drawing and click on offset, enter an offset distance of one inch, offset it downwards, offset it here. Now make a copy of this one, 
and copy it to the midpoint all right let's go to the trim tool and trim it like this so here we have it one of the window is now prepared let's select this rectangle tool again and make another window for that i'll type at six feet comma 10 inches and press enter i'll select this one type x and press enter so that will again explode this complete geometry select the offset tool type 2 inches as the offset distance offset this one to 2 inches here here also and make a copy of this line similar to the one we did in the previous case and here also I'll trim this portion all right so we have these two windows and these two doors now let's convert them into blocks and for that I'll go to this create block and let's name it as door 1 select the pick point and click on this point here that's the pick point now select objects and select all of these objects and press enter and now click on OK so we have a door block now the second door block so repeat the process name it as door 2 pick point and let's select this one as the pick point select objects select them all press enter and OK similarly repeat the process for window alright so now we have added doors and windows and you can see them in this list we have door 1 door 2 and window 1 window 2 now they are ready to be added in our drawing and we'll learn about adding these blocks and also other blocks in our drawing in the next video to watch the next part of this video click on this video link